Well, hi, and welcome to another LRCC Soundbite. I'm going to think today about how God influences us today. But if I'm going to do that, I think I'd better start by thinking about how God influenced people in the past. Right from the beginning of uh, our our knowledge of God and his um, uh, interaction with people, Jews and Christians believed in one God who is all knowledgeable, all powerful and everywhere. Before Jesus was born, I think for the most part, God was God, one God. And people didn't think much more about it than that. God was God. When Jesus was born, things became possibly a little less clear for people. Jesus was also God, often referred to as God the Son. And he talked about God the Father. I suppose we could think about God the Father as God present in heaven and God the Son as God present on earth, still one God, not two, not separate, but just, yeah, we we can't really understand it, can we? God revealed to us on earth, fully God and fully human, Jesus. He walked, he talked, he ate, he played, he laughed, he cried, everything that we do. Later on, Jesus would die, then come back to life again. And after that, Jesus went back to heaven, physically, still alive. When he went, he told his followers to wait and he would send another helper for them, someone he called the Holy Spirit. And sure enough, a few days later, the Holy Spirit came to Jesus' followers and helped them, empowered them, strengthened them and guided them. So we're trying to worry about now God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, not three gods. And we're not talking about one God split into three parts. As I said, I could, it, it's You can't get your head around it, and I'm not going to try and explain it, but those three are important to know about. Why is it important? Well, because before Jesus came, God influenced the world by talking to individuals, people called prophets. They would pass on messages from God to whoever it was they were sent to. Jonah, uh, he was sent to speak to a city, ended up in a whale, but that's another story. He still got to the city, he still spoke to those people. Elijah, was sent to speak to a king. I guess things were quite limited. One person, limited situations. Next comes Jesus. Now Jesus as a man could speak to lots of people. As God, he could speak uh, to people on with God's authority and on God's behalf. He could even speak to as many as several thousand all at once if you got them in one place. He could speak to an individual. He could get to know people, he could sit with people, he could be with people in their place, in their home, in their world. But in this, God as Jesus was still only able to directly interact with those around him at the time. Then comes the Holy Spirit. I talk quite a bit about faith in Jesus leading to a relationship with God. If we have a relationship with someone, it means we spend time with them, we talk with them, we enjoy being with them, different ways and different things at different times, whether it's a friend, a bestie or a partner. When Jesus was here, individuals could have a relationship, a friendship with him. The Holy Spirit takes that to a whole new level. No longer fixed to one person or one place, the Spirit of God can be with everyone at the same time. And that is how God interacts with us now. It's not something weird or ghostly. There's no coerciveness. There's no control. It's just like being with a friend who's just always there. You can choose to listen to God's advice or not. A true friend will stand by you even if you don't take their advice. And that's what God is like. Not controlling, not vindictive, not walking away if you do something different, but rather waiting for you if you wander off. For me, it's something about feeling peace inside. If I upset one of my friends, it becomes uncomfortable being around them until you've cleared the air. I guess that's how I feel. Peace with God's Spirit, because God's Spirit is always with me. And if I'm doing the right thing, if I'm doing the thing that God's Spirit wants me to do, I feel that peace. So maybe sometimes you hear Christians talk about God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. I hope this maybe helps you understand what that might mean at even some really basic level. Feel free to get in touch with me if this raises other questions that you'd like to ask. If you ask me a question, maybe I could use it in a future soundbite. Have a great week. God bless you and I'll see you next time.